because um, to me, Melbourne Storm were 10 years ahead of any club. Um, not that I'd been at another club, um, but when I'd had moved on to the Titans, from there I I didn't know that they were 10 years ahead of other clubs. Yeah. Um, they had an answer for everything, they had a reason for everything, and they had a purpose to do everything. Mm. So every, everything that I did at Melbourne, yeah, man, was it tough. Um, everything that I did there, um, I tried to take to Gold Coast, and when I was implementing what I'd already learned there, um, I used to get pulled to the side and say, oh, Kurt, don't do that because uh, this is like they're iffy, but they don't have the answer. Just don't do that because it will put pressure on your inside or something like mm. that. And then I would turn around, I say to him, because of what I learned in Melbourne, I'd turn around and say, well, it shouldn't put pressure on him because he should be pushing up with me, you know? Yeah. Like, um, but they were all about making it easier for your teammate, where in Melbourne it was all about challenging your teammate. Oh. Uh, so that... Different philosophies, eh? Oh, hard out. So yeah. when we used to play in Melbourne <laughs> and we used to break down the games in uh, video sessions or something, I remember watching the games and because everybody knew the game, we're sitting there and, you know, the the drop ball or, or knock on or whatever that happened over here, the coach would say something like, what happened here? We'll go all the way back to where it went wrong. We won't say, oh, he dropped the ball because he's butterfingers. <laughs> We went all the way back to, oh, no, because we were supposed to head here. Then he didn't go there. Then we fucked up over here. And that led. So it's not that it was oh. his fuck up. It's what led to that fuck up. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. They were so, <laughs> like I'm telling you, they had an answer, reason, and purpose for everything. Mm. Um, and that's what I always tell everybody. And everybody used to ask me because um, everybody used to ask me, oh, how was it at Melbourne? And I'd be like, oh, man. Like, you have yeah. no idea. <laughs> Hats off to the ones that stayed, like that. Are, uh -huh. Like look at Cameron Smith, Billy Slater, and all of them, and those those ones that are that stayed there through all of. But that's mental toughness. That's that, that's what they grew up knowing. You know what I mean? Oh, so do you, do you think like that kind of um, intensity of the breaking things down? Yeah. Would that put anybody off? Did that put you off? Oh, uh, it's it's not that it put me off. It was um there were there, there was a, a lot of other reasons why I left Melbourne. Um, but um, uh, no, if anything, I was grateful for to learn league like that. Um, uh, I'll go back to when we used to watch the the video sessions. Even though I was a prop, because I knew what everybody's job was in any play anywhere on the field, I know what the wingers are supposed to be doing. I know what the fullback is supposed to be doing. I know what the halfback and the hooker is supposed to be doing. Mm. Because we all knew that, we could, it's not me just tell off the props, oh no, because he didn't get to field position, oh no, because he had a slow play the ball. I could say to the halfback, I was like, no, because you didn't make your kick, no, you didn't find grass. Or I could say to the winger, no, no, you didn't, blah, blah, blah. Um, because we all knew each other's roles. And, you know, just because I couldn't play it, I understood his role. And I could tell him, over there, no, there's, you, you should have done this. Or well, why didn't you fucking do this, you know? <laughs> I think I get it, eh? It's like, like you said, like, if if you have a play, and the play is supposed to be doing this, but then for some reason, or rather, it ends up to be a different place on the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go back to that time yeah. where, hey, man. Yeah, exactly. The ball's not supposed to come this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that's... Like, if we went to plan, he shouldn't yeah. have got the ball, you know? Yeah, yeah, it it yeah. would have been like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, he might have taken one off the rack mm. because we fucked up back there. And then the coach would just say, why the fuck did he take the ball when he was supposed to be in the fucking next play? You know? So, um... Is that why Bellamy's up in the stands, like, screaming? And, oh, and exactly. The, screaming because he, <laughs> he, will, he will honestly... He, he will rip anybody. Yeah. He, and, and it's... If he, it's not because he hates you. It's not because he thinks he's a bad man. It's because he knows you know what you should have done, and he's he'll make sure that if he yells at you, you know, make it the last time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because you know, when when you talk to him, he, you'll be talking normal and whatever. But as soon as we're out on the field, business. That's all it is, man. It's it's business. It's that if if Cameron Munster dropped the ball, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck back there. We'll start back at the start. It, it, anything anything that he he knows that we've done wrong, but we shortcut it or anything like that, mm. and they hate shortcuts in Melbourne, uh, he'll take it right back to the start. Shit. Mm. 
That seems really intimidating. Oh man, that's probably why you said like you give it up to those guys that stayed there. Hard out. The the the, the systems they've got. It's yeah. really intimidating, isn't it? Yeah. It's but, sort of. Uh, it's like it's like you know when you you're working as a chef in the kitchen and the the head chef little yazzy was like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. <laughs> well, you know, if you're supposed to be um, cutting the carrot into <laughs> circles, you don't fucking cut them into squares. <laughs> yeah. But now it's um in. You, you're real. Um, they're real humble in uh, Melbourne too. Mm. It's like a, a straight business when we're training, and then after that, mates. You know, yeah. your mates in the change room after you finish training. Yeah. Um, but real professional environment. Real. It was. It was probably maybe two years. So yeah, you, you were at Storm for two years, huh? Oh, yeah, th- uh, three, years, oh, three years, Ball, 20s, and uh, I can't remember now if I did uh, one or two pre-seasons with the NRL. Mm. Shucks. So that, three years of Storm. So the second year of Storm, were you playing in their development? Um, oh, man. I, I played SG Ball... And I think 20s after that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I think 20s, 20s, oh, one SG ball year and then two 20s years. Mm. Um, and then finish off my 20s in the Gold Coast. But um, I think, oh, so, so it was one NRL preseason. That's right. Um, one NRL preseason. No, I was 17. Yeah. And uh, man, I don't, I don't think I've ever done anything like that. And I don't think I will do anything like that again. That first year? Yeah. Oh, in just yeah. in general, um, oh, Melbourne's yeah. preseason, um, they're renowned for, you know, being a little bit over the top. But I'll tell you what, it, it works, obviously. Mm. Um, everybody always says, you know, why are Melbourne so good? And I'm, I'm nearly giving you all the answers. 